will be looking at concerns around the economy which borders on uh, diversification of the nation's economy and we did term it um, weighing the available options there's so much has been said about um, diversifying the economy uh, economy rather but however uh, crude oil still remains our very main main main, main uh, form of um, revenue uh, that's what they call they call us a mono economy uh, country, which for many is a very sad narrative. However, recent development has shown that um, there is a need for us to begin to look at the non-oil non -oil sectors of the economy, the real sector of the economy as a form of diversification. Let's speak with Mukhtar Mohammed. Let's get his perspective. Mukhtar, so good to have you on the program. Thank you for the sacrifice as well, Mukhtar. And uh, to David for, I mean, not coming on as early as we planned. I'm so sorry. It's okay. I thought that would be true, whatever I've been doing. Thank you so it's much. It's a sacrifice. We, we appreciate your sacrifice, Mokhtar. Always a sacrifice. Thank you so very much. Tell us where exactly you think we are in this whole talk around diversifying the nation's economy. I think maybe we spoke this thing over and over. The next time you hear them talking about diversification of the economy is when crude oil price is down. And then we are thinking of where to end more FX. Then you start hearing this noise about diversification of the economy. I hope this time um, the president Tinubu will be able to um, put uh, put these words into action and make sure we diversify our economy. And like I always say, uh, if it's for your main source of income, then you diversify to other source of income. If your main source of income is still a challenge, then it's also be difficult for you to diversify diversify to source of income. So uh, as far as I'm concerned, it still remains a lift service. And when you want to diversify, you realize that we are almost diversifying, diversifying into everything want to be the best in agri, want to be the best in rice, want to be the best in this, want to... So I think in diversification, you look at your strength, then you invest in that area of your strength and you build on it. But when you talk to Nigeria, they will tell you about the tourism potential, they tell you about the solid mineral potential, they tell you about the steel potential, they tell you about the agricultural potential, and at the same time, we want to diversify the economy to into NFX. So it doesn't work like that. So, Mukta, thank you so much again for joining us. Could this be the reason why Nigeria have not seemed to take a, a, a firm grip on the much touted economic diversification? Because these things you mentioned, we have them. We have them. At least even if it's two or three other sectors that we can, you know, grip, take a, a firm grip on. Could this be the reason why we haven't gotten there yet? It could be. Yes, it's been, I think it's the main reason why we have not gotten there, but it's not the only reason. And sometimes, like I say, um, we don't put the right people in the right position to diversify our economy. The first time I think we really have a re-diversification of our economy, Messi, was where we had uh, uh, the current um, president of the African Development Bank, Nakumi Adeshino, when he was the uh, the president, uh, when he was the minister for agriculture, we saw that in, in agriculture. But after that, we've not seen any diversification yet. So in our strength, in Solid Mira, we saw a lot of plan, a lot of fireworks when the former governor of Ikiti State was there fire, trying to fire me. After he left, we saw a slowdown. So I think sometime again, because it, it it's not, uh, it's about the person, not about the, 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 the policy or the agenda or the common vision to grow the economy, we always have challenge. So I think we should stop building our uh, uh, diversification around an individual. We should build it around a policy, then we'll begin to achieve uh, good results. Initiative around the, around policies and not around individuals. So we did hear that um, the Minister for Mineral Resources, uh, talking about Delia Leke, he's talking tough. He did talk about what um, he can achieve within that ministry. However, Bukhtar, I'm thinking it could be a bit unfair uh, to think that we have not um, diversified the economy in any form. We've seen what ICT has done uh, in terms of um, you know, contribution to the nation's economy in recent times. That, for me, is also a form of diversification, even though it has been faced with its own uh, ch challenges, no doubt. But then we have moved from where we used to be, and maybe just because oil is still our main focus, but we have moved from where we used to be to where we are uh, today. What do you think? Yeah, when you talk about ICT, is it really our strength in Nigeria because you have the challenges with infrastructure? So when you are talking of diversification of your economy, then you need to see about the strength and you have all the fundamentals to drive it, not just because you want to diversify. Yes, ITC has been one of our greatest strengths thus far. But are we really taking um, um, when you talk about ICT in, in, in the world or in Africa with STC Nigeria is the powerhouse of ICT? 
Uh, we've seen the move in terms of fintech. And when you look at fintechs, companies that have really moved uh, in Nigeria and talk of the ITC sector, then you only talk about the financial fintech space. We have not seen that in other spaces, like, uh, and that has to do with in, improving on service. And I mean, give, uh, giving a lot. You, you need to, have we created ourselves to be a hub? You, you, you know that um, a, 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 an economy like China created itself to be a hub at a point, at, at this point now, some of the uh, Americans' uh, um, call centers are located in China because of the uh, low cost of labor. Labor productivity labor productivity is high and low. So have we built ourselves to be a hub whereby all ICT companies want to in Nigeria? Have we seen Apple saying, look, want to put a base in Nigeria? The only um, ICT global ITC player that we saw was coming to Nigeria up to now, we've not seen them stabilize or, or finally say they've arrived. It's um, um, Amazon. Remember, Amazon said they were coming in in February, February, sometime February last year. Up to this moment, we've not seen them coming in full force. We need to be, we need to, when we talk about ICP, when we talk about diversification, it's becoming your strength. It's becoming a norm. You, they, they know you with that. In the Arab world, United Arab Emirates has become uh, the up of the up of call center, even for the Arab wars. And now you see that it's bringing competition from countries like Saudi Arabia and, uh, and even uh, uh, Qatar. So those are what we talk about. Our, the way we talk about strength, you talk about when they mention it, they mention your name. So for ITC, yes, we are doing well, but we can do better if we have the right infrastructure. We, we have diversified, you could say that, but uh, we, we still have a lot of potentials to, to diversify well. That's what I'm trying to say. Once we have the potential, talk to us about the low-hanging fruits that we can really grab right now and make use of, well, I would say in the short term, because most times when people say their diversification, the solutions that we hear from the government are pretty futuristic, like long term, it's going to happen maybe, you know, after a while. So do we have sure. the things that we can just catch right now and make you good use of? to achieve at least to a, to a greater percentage these, the goal of diversification of the economy? Messi, diversification is always a long-term project, so we must get that straightened out. Uh, it's not a one-off project. Every economy that has diversified to become a powerhouse, it took a process. Sometimes diversification can take up to eight to 10 years before you begin to see the fruit of diversification. So for me, the one that we could begin to see the kind of result that we have always desired would be if we diversify uh, in the agricultural sector and look at our strength, especially where it has been proved scientifically that our cassava uh, from this part of Nigeria is one of the best in the world. Can we become the hub for cassava uh, production that will link to other uh, other um, items from that cassava production? For me, that will, will be the key. At a point, our cassava leaf was meant to be the, was said to be uh, the cure for mad cow disease. So how far have we gone in researching? to see that it becomes ill to other diseases and also begin to end effects from it. So for me, if you want to tell me where, where can we begin to see quick results, I say the agricultural sector. You shouldn't forget that before Nigeria was a powerhouse in cocoa, before we lose it, we lost it to Ghana and now Cook the war. So we still have a lot to do that. We can also go back to the cocoa uh, sector. Remember also oil and palm. Today we talk about um, uh, 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 Indonesia, Singapore, being one of the strongholds when it comes to oil and palm. We need to understand the first seed of that was taken, it was taken here from Nigeria, especially to Singapore. And today, Singapore is the powerhouse when it comes to oil palm. So we need to look at those ones. And even with oil palm, and you know that when we're talking about diversification, we're talking about cash crop, with the exception of cassava. Others, so when you look at oil palm and you look at um, and you look at cocoa, they are cash crop and they don't just come over in the next one to two years. Sometimes they take up to three, four, five years before you begin to see the results. All right, uh, Mukhtar Mohammed, thank you very much. Um, unfortunately, this is about how much we can take on this segment of the show, how time flies when we're having a good time. We'll touch base with you again in, in the nearest future. Uh, maybe today, later today, we just might touch base with you again. Uh, Mukhtar Mohammed, an economist, thank you for your time and thoughts. And welcome from your vacation as well. You look all chubby and well, well taken care of. Welcome. Thank you, David, for having me. Thank you, Mercy, and also the apology to Shimu, wherever she is. I'm so sorry. I'll make up for it some other time, like you said. Thank all, you for having me. All right, Mukhtar. Thank you so very much.